Okay, hi, hi, folks. So this is a short video on how to configure Tableau Online to connect with Salesforce as a SAML identity provider. So this is a, a, a manual, a guide from our website, and it's super cru crucial that you follow step by step what's in here because we very often we see customers that skip one step. I've done this myself and my colleagues a million times. <laughs> it just doesn't work, and we pull our heads out and we don't know what's going on. So I'm going one by one here. So the First step is going to your Tableau Online site authentication and enable an additional authentication method. So I'm going to go there to my online site settings. So you have to be an admin here, enable an additional authentication method. Then you choose SAML and say OK. And now you go to edit this connection. Great. The, the mail says then you have to add your Tableau Online to your Salesforce applications. So here is a, a step A. So you have to go to your, your Salesforce portal as an admin and go to setup home. So let's do that. So I'm already signed in here as this user and I'm going to click on this little icon to go to the setup. Perfect. And now let's see the manual is saying that I need to enable Salesforce as an identity provider. So this is the one step that I'm, I will skip. This is in Salesforce. Make sure to follow this link to enable your Salesforce to act as an identity provider. Then once that's done, click on the home tab and then go to app manager to create a new connected app and enable SAML on that app. All right, so let's do that. I go here to app manager. And here, new connected app. And I'm just gonna type the app name, uh, give it any name. This is my, happens to be matching with the name of my site, but any name would go here. Uh, and then type your details and then finally enable SAML as per the document. Then the document says you need to go to your Tableau online instance, configuration settings, and copy the Tableau online entity ID and assertion service URL and paste that into Salesforce. So here we have those two uh, pieces of information. I'm going to copy the first one, Tableau online entity ID and paste into Entity ID in Salesforce, and then do the same for ACL. And that's done. And then let's see, the manual says, we should uh, select username at subject type and click Save to create the connected app. Username is already selected as subject type and then Save. However, I will warn you here that there is a step you probably need to change, and it's not in our manuals. So uh, to enforce the security, we are signing the messages with uh, SHHA256 from now on. Tableau Online will be requesting SHHA256. Um, I hope this is updated quick, uh, shortly in our Docker documentation. We will surely put a message for them to have a look at that. But for now, yeah, make sure to do that and save. Perfect. Then the next step here is to manage connected apps. Uh, and then you go to your Tableau Online uh, section there and download the metadata and then you keep that metadata because we'll use that later so go to manage on the new connected app and download metadata so that's now on my computer and we'll use that soon then don't skip this step edit policies and enter the url of your tableau online homepage into the start url so the your Tableau Online URL is this one. So you go to all the way up to your site name, your Tableau Online site, and don't put the forward slash. Copy, go back there, go back to your app, and edit policies. The start URL here, you paste that little guy. Okay, and save. All right. So that's it. And now you need to go on the connected app detail page, manage profiles and select the profile you want to approve for single sign on and click save. So this is the back to the same page uh, where we have the new connected app. Go down, you have profiles and you have to manage profile. So in this case here, I know that the user I will test now happens to be a system admin, uh, ha happens to be one of the system admins. So that's what I will select in my case. But in your case, you make sure you select the correct option. Uh, where is system 
uh, meaning straight. Yeah, this is the one I will use for testing. Again, you can add multiple here corresponding to the profile of your users. Very important steps. Step, don't miss this one, and save. And your connected app should be now listing that profile as authorized to do single sign on in this with this connected app. Um, then you go back to your Tableau Online and the SAML configuration settings and upload the metadata file that you downloaded from Salesforce. So step number four, browse, import the metadata, browse, get this file, open here, and apply. And now this should be all you need to do to be able to test this. And it is successfully connected to Tableau Server, so amazing. Just for doing that, just because we did that, we got that Tableau Online attribute populated for us, right? So here we have uh, the user here, which um, we used to do that SAML test because we were already logged in in Salesforce with that user. So Tableau Online is already even picking up that there's a SAML section. So the next step in the documentation is to uh, add users to the, your SAML enabled Tableau Online site, Tableau site. So you, basically you just go and add those users um, here in Tableau Online. So I can add a user, enter email address, and make sure you choose that the authentication method for that user is this guy. So I'm gonna copy here the user. In my case, I just have one, set the role, any role works in Tableau. And that is how Tableau, uh, the SAML authentication understands this assertion. So let's go back to this and the name ID here matches. Now, how do you know that this is the case? How do you know this is working okay? Uh, uh, you can download uh, a little plugin called SAML Message Decoder. Uh, my colleague, Dave, Ma Dave Matthews found this guy and it's super useful. So you can understand the request and respond the SAML request and response and, and visualize this really quickly. So when I do a test connection here, right? This generated a, a SAML request and a response and I can see the request uh, sorry, the response here from coming from Salesforce, and I can copy this message so you can see it bigger. Uh, just gonna pop this here on my screen. Uh, bear with me one sec. Okay, ignore all this, this information here, and then, then I'm just gonna paste here so you can see. And uh, the name ID, which is the assertion that we are using here, is the username. Uh, sorry, not here. Name ID. Here, so subject and name ID, that is the email that we are using to uh, do the authentication piece. So that's for all working as we as we intended. If you manage to, uh, if, if sadly it didn't work for you, a very useful tool is to go back on in Salesforce and you go to the identity page, just search here on the left hand side and you look at the event log for your identity provider. And that will give you a good hint uh, and, and a very detailed information if this worked or not. Obviously the test not worked, but in my case, for instance, I was missing the policy to add the policy, uh, the system admin policy in my case, into that connected app configuration. And, 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 and the testing Tableau Online wasn't working because the user did not have access to the service provider to the connected app, right? Because I didn't add the profile to the user. And that's about it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you folks. Cheers.